I'm Anne Barton, I'm the musculoskeletal theme lead within the Manchester BRC and I'm a professor of rheumatology. In the UK musculoskeletal conditions account for nearly a third of all disability and musculoskeletal disease is the second commonest cause of disability worldwide. So these are conditions which have a huge impact on people and that's why it's so important that this research is being funded in order to better use the treatments that we have and develop new treatments in the future. So within the musculoskeletal theme we're covering four projects. The first is inflammatory arthritis in adults. The second is inflammatory arthritis in children. Uh, the third relates to connective tissue diseases and the fourth one is around osteoarthritis. A large focus of our work is on identifying biomarkers that predict which treatments will work best in which patients and that's true of the treatments that we're using in adult inflammatory arthritis and in the connective tissue diseases so that we can personalise treatment to individual patients. We aim to use the P4 approach within the musculoskeletal theme. Whilst we'll be covering all aspects of that, the most important to us is the personalisation because what we want to do is target the right treatments to the right patients so that it benefits both patients and results in healthcare cost savings. So it's a fantastic opportunity for us to work with other themes within the BRC and some of the things that, that we want to address as a whole is targeting those hard to reach groups um, and also targeting patients who perhaps don't adhere to treatment because that's, some, that's a problem to, to all areas of medicine. So Manchester has a fantastic track record in training and we're very proud of that. I think it's vital to the future of medical research and it's a key part of the BRC strategy. It's very important that we encourage the researchers of the future that will take on the work that we're doing now and carry it on to improve patient care in the future. I'm immensely proud about the BRC. I think it's a fantastic example of a lot of separate world-leading research groups in their own right coming together, forming a cohesive strategy that really has the potential to produce a step change in clinical care for our patients in Manchester. It's something I'm immensely proud of.